Hey guys, just want to do a quick little video here on uh, some diagnostic tools. Uh, this is a six and a half horsepower overhead valve engine that was given to me. It had been seized. Previous owner dumped some oil or diesel or something down the plug hole to uh, to free it up. It does pull over, but uh, what I did uh, first is I put a regular compression tester in there. I just screw it in the cylinder, give her a couple of pulls on the pull cord, and see what kind of compression reading we're getting because it felt really uh, felt really easy to pull over with a plug in there. So I didn't get any reading on the compression gauge at all. It flickered a tiny little bit. And that's that's fine. This tells you there's no compression, but it doesn't tell you where it's leaking, where, what the problem is. So what I've got to hooked up here is a cylinder leakage test. It's a leak down tester. What it does is it takes a regulated amount of air and puts it into the cylinder through the spark plug hole. This gauge reads percentage of leakage. So it'll tell you how many percent is leaking. Again, it doesn't tell you what the problem is, what has actually failed. But it does tell you, gives you a, a much more precise idea of what's going on with the engine. So what, on this gauge here, there's a set point in the middle. So you turn, uh, you hook up your shop air, regular compressed air, from the compressor. We're going to set that gauge into the middle, into the set zone. And right now this gauge is reading, while well, it's pinned at 100% leakage, so there's, there's no compression. I'm going to get you a little bit closer here and show you what I can do to to see where the issues are. I've pulled the valve cover off. We know what the gauge reads, so I'll just move that out of the way. I've pulled the valve cover off. Uh, you want to make sure that the piston is at top dead center for this. As you can see, it's on the compression stroke. These, uh, these valves are actually quite loose. I can hear air leaking. This is what, uh, this is a big advantage to having, to applying shop air to, into an engine. You can hear where it's leaking. This is your carburetor, so that would be the intake valve. This is the muffler. So that would be the exhaust valve. Now the valve is closed. There's no tension on this. I'm not sure if the if the, it's going to pick up on that. There is some leakage out of the intake valve. So the valve and the seat are probably rusty. I'll push the valve down and you can hear definitely hear the difference. When I push that valve down, compression the air is leaking right out of that intake valve but without touching it it's just sitting there loose I can still hear air coming out of the intake so there's a an issue with the valve seat or the valve could be bent something as far as the exhaust side goes I put my ear right up to that outlet of the exhaust and I didn't hear anything we can check we'll push the exhaust valve down it's a lot quieter because it's going through a muffler but does definitely make a difference. So we know the valve should be closed. We know there's leak by leaking. It's, there's air leaking by this intake valve, so that's no good. If I cover this and listen down around in where the push rods go, this overhead valve engine, the oil comes up to the top and lubricates stuff here, but it also runs back down to the crankcase. So the crankcase is open through this little slot here, one on each side. I can hear air escaping here. So the rings are stuck. Rings are probably had rust on them. The engine got broke free with that oil or diesel, whatever you put down in there. But uh, this being a Princess Auto offshore China engine, it is definitely not worth rebuilding. However, I may strip it for some parts. The carburetor I'm sure fits more than one thing. It's actually a Japanese carburetor. But uh, anyways, just wanted to touch on this real quick. Uh, it's part of the diagnostic procedure of what, you know, to see the general health of your engine. This one is not healthy, obviously. But uh, that's, it's a difference between a standard compression tester or a leak down tester. A leak down tester allows you to get much more precise with your diagnostics and lets you see a much more detailed idea of what's going on inside an engine. Thanks for joining me on this quick one, guys. Just a you know, five minute video. Just one of the tools that I use to diagnose things. Uh, please don't forget to click the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.